we celebrate Hispanic Heritage Month, it's a chance to highlight the Latino community's many musical contributions, and that of course includes mariachi music. Here's NBC4's Tony Shin with more on a local band that made history as the first all-female mariachi band to win a Grammy Award. <laughs> Inside a home studio in Hacienda Heights. The mariachi divas are giving us a delicious taste of Mexican culture that dates back hundreds of years. And the woman who founded this all-female group in the late 90s is Cindy Shea, a single mother of two who fell in love with the music and beautiful lyrics. When I jumped into mariachi, it was a little bit different. Because I noticed when we performed, the people in the audience cried, laughed, and danced all in the same hour. And I thought, what other music can get this kind of effect? Cindy says it wasn't easy in the beginning. I'd love to sit here and say I was given a red carpet with flowers and welcomed into the mariachi world, but I wouldn't be honest if I did that. It was very difficult. In 1999, when I started, for women, it was just being a female. But for me, I had... Not only that, I was a gringa. I hear Irish, Italian, American. People didn't know if I could even speak Spanish. People didn't know my love for Latin music. They didn't know my history. They didn't even know if I was a good musician or not. They just saw me and judged me right away. Two regional Grammy Awards and 18 albums later. There's no question, the mariachi divas are a big success performing all across the country and also on a regular basis at the Magic Kingdom. I want to celebrate all cultures and I felt like I was a good person to represent that by building my group which became a melting pot of women from all over the world. It truly became a multicultural group. Cindy has spent the better part of two decades, she says, working too hard on her music. And last month, all that stress finally caught up to her. I have a subarachnoid hemorrhage, which means bleeding outside the brain. A type of stroke that many people don't survive, which is why Cindy says she may never play the trumpet again. I'm trying to find a new balanced life, and if there's any message I can give now to anybody in the business, I would say slow down and enjoy all of your successes. And her biggest success is a band of talented women who are spreading the wonderful sound of the mariachi for generations to come. Tony Shen, NBC4 News.